Yesterday, I watched the CD Projekt Red stream, where they presented the Witcher 3 next-gen upgrade, and I thought of making this video because while I'm really happy that we're getting this upgrade, especially for free, for that we have to thank CD Projekt Red. I mean, especially that we are getting uh, some new quests, or, or at least a new quest, and new armors and so on. We are also uh, getting some, improve you know, some improvements on their engine. Uh, as they said, they have uh, increased the, the streaming budget for textures and so on, so that should make modding and other stuff a little bit stable with this update, but um, I am a little bit disappointed as many people were as far as I saw in the comments and whatnot. And uh, th the reason why I'm disappointed is that while I was watching their entire stream, I thought to myself that I kinda already have this update, moreover I have it running on my Steam Deck. And to be more clear, he here are a few things and comparisons between their stream and uh, the footage I recorded on my Steam Deck, I think, three months ago, when I tested out uh, Witcher 3 for the first time on the Steam Deck. The, the modded version of Witcher 3 with uh, a lighting mod and uh, the HD Project remake and so on. So, so the first thing that I saw is is that uh, it seems with this update we'll be getting new animations for uh, looting at least. I mean, we already have a mod like that that also includes animations for drinking potions, uh, eating, repairing armors, uh, weapons and so on. And it would be <laughs> a shame if they wouldn't include all kind of animations like that mod does. Then they talked about the basically absolute camera mod that I have been using uh, from my uh, starting with my second playthrough in this game. I cannot go back to the vanilla camera because with that mod the experience is much more better. And now they have included that and uh, okay we, we, we have it in uh, the options menu now but I've already played with that so moving on they talked about basically the uh, friendly UI mod where you can hide elements and uh, show them uh, uh, w when you actually need them, like the minimap or... I, I don't know if they do that with the health bar or uh, the prompt bot the button prompts. Now, this is a good thing that these mods are delivered because on the console you couldn't have had them, but on the PC I've already uh, played many playthroughs with them actually being integrated. And then they also said that they have integrated Witcher HD project, which is kind of okay. I, I mean, this combined with the fact that they have increased the streaming budget for the textures and uh, whatnot, that means that, as I already said, using better textures or e e even other mods should make uh, the game better. I don't know if you have encountered this or not, but whenever I have added too many mods to my game, characters began to lose their animations and they were became stiff in cutscenes. There was a blur effect uh, or loading effect between uh, lines of dialogues in cutscenes, so that should be fixed, I guess. They also added the pause cutscenes, which Again, we already have that, as you can see. And other things that they talked about, like different foliages and uh, different options for uh, LODs. All, they, they were also included in other mods on Nexus and other platforms. But again, I am kind of happy with this update because this being official should at least mean that it is stable. 
whereas in the past again if you have used many other mods you should also include mods that or, or uh, modifications that uh, would let you exceed the limit of alterations in your game which was not, not necessarily nice to use or, or nice to track what I want them to deliver in this patch is actually making some adjustments to the gameplay uh, but, but I don't think they will do that I hope that they will fix the leveling curve which is not that great in this game and also may maybe enhance the alchemy part of the game meanwhile as you can see we already kind of have this next gen upgrade if you played the game on the PC you can actually make yourself this upgrade uh, I think the stuff that I'm looking forward to the most now are the new armors and the new quest or quests I'm not looking forward to the Netflix inspired DLC because I don't want to see that Nilfgaardian ball sack armor in on my screen I, I don't need that I hope that is optional <laughs> I, I don't want to see that but I think uh, the Netflix armor looks okay. Now I'm looking forward to their patch release notes. I'm gonna read them and I'm gonna prepare a, a list of mods that I will be including in this next gen version of the game and I will make a playthrough. And that list will not include visual, visual mods so that I would experience what this upgrade will bring to the table. What I want to include are gameplay changes because I cannot play the vanilla version of this game anymore. If it, it feels too easy for me even on Death March. I want that immersion list of mods like always using ingredients of either a full recipe or a base recipe or a baseline when crafting potions or oils and so on. Or uh, doing meditation only beside the fireplace. I want that in my game So thank you for watching and I don't know maybe I'll see you when I stream this next-gen version of the game